a couple of months ago, I wasn't sure if Ethereum was going to do massive things. I did hold some, I sold some, I got some more, I sold some more. And then I went through something that said, okay, it is time to get into Ethereum and, and keep it as a store of value. And I'm going to share with you what I have found and why it is a larger part of my crypto portfolio. I'm Joanna Garzilli. This is Crypto Angel Network. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Thank you for commenting, for liking, and especially for subscribing to the channel where I just share what my insights are, my crypto journey. And of course, what I share here is not investment advice. You must do your own due diligence. You have to do your own research. So as we can see right now, Ethereum is $2,452, and we are heading towards that $3,000 mark. I will be very surprised if by the end of April we have not touched $3,000. I feel like we're getting to the point where we're never going to go below $2,000 again for the price. Maybe we'll go down to $1,700, $1,600 briefly. But I really feel we're getting to that point where Ethereum is going to take off a whole nother level. Sort of like a few months ago, where I remember getting Ethereum, gosh, I wish I got it when it was sort of six, seven hundred. I went in at around, I went in a little bit above that. I have to look at the numbers of what I went in at around 900. It was like around eight, 900, then again, 11, 1200. It then pumped to 1400. And, and, and then there was a point where I was waiting for it to come down to 700. It never went down to 700 again. Then I was waiting for it to go down to 1100 again. It never went down to 1100 again. There's a point where I can't imagine it going down to 1400 because of how DeFi is building out so much. And I want to, I'm going to share with you my specific thinking of why I anticipate later on in this year that we will hit double digits in Ethereum, that we, it's going to go to at least $10,000. And I do believe at some point that we will have a $50,000 Ethereum because it, it the, the, the way it, it is, it's following a, a track of Bitcoin uh, but it's different in terms of there is so much built upon it. And I'm not going to get into that all now. I did actually, I finally, a couple of months ago, I got certified with Ivan on tech, blockchain certified so they could understand the things that are happening with Ethereum. And this, that gave me the insight to go, okay, this is why I should be going into this token. But I just wanted to show you that, I mean, look at this, look at how parabolic it's going. And I, I don't think we've even touched from what is coming next. And you can see here, there isn't even that much volume at the moment. We are, again, we are really on the rise. But I don't think it is, I really just don't think that it is too late to go into Ethereum at all. I just want to just hop over here and share with you Right now, um, with my Ethereum, the, the price is 2454. Now, here's what happened. So let me explain this. I wanted to go and get some tokens that are only available on here, where we just were on Gate.io. And with Gate.io, I love this exchange. It has so many amazing projects on it. I am going to do a video separately on that. I, I really like it because it has all these launch pads. Unfortunately, what I found out is if, as a US citizen, I cannot participate in those launch pads. But there were certain tokens I wanted to get into, like Travala, uh, Travala AVA, and Venus um, XPS. And I th those are only available on Uniswap or Gate. IO and so I I liked Gate IO because I thought okay you know it's K some people don't like the KYC they want to just go under the radar I'm fine with that because I, they have Gate IO have not had hacks from my understanding and they fully ensure their exchange so what I had to do was I went okay well I'm gonna go and put things into my portfolio that I'm going to have to buy on Gate.io, which meant that I had to go and buy Ethereum. And I had to buy Ethereum. I had to then move over from my Coinbase Pro account to go into my Gate.io wallet. And then from there, I did some trading pairs of Ethereum directly to the token I was getting, for example, Unimex and Chain Games. 
And, uh, but that was really, really hard. It was just so slow. So I then converted my Ethereum into US dollar tether. So I had got a number of Ethereum and I bought those at 1668. I had bought those at, and because let me just here, if I just go, I'm just going to show you, let's see if I can find this in the trans in the transactions here. It's just going to be like a, a sea of transactions. I wonder if I can do, oh, transaction type. That's good. Trans uh, bought. Let's go with bought. What is, oh, how does this do this? I haven't even looked at this category. No exchange. Yeah, it doesn't matter with that, that, but let's see. So where's my Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. Um, here we go. If I go back a little bit further, I want to try and find just for the, um, for the Ethereum here, but basically I bought them at, uh, no, this is on the first page. I bought at six, right around 1668. And I think I had around seven Ethereum. And then um, here I've got some, I got some here. No, this was late. Uh, this was late a little bit later on. Here we go. Look. So I bought here, I got uh, close to 7,000 at 1668. And then I got some more here. So I got around $8,000 worth of Ethereum at 1668 and 1672. And while I was waiting, I had to Coinbase makes you wait around six, um, seven, six days to be able to move it off the exchange. As I waited to move it off of the exchange, Ethereum started performing. I was like, wow, it's really going up. Then I went into my other trades and then I started on, on Gate.io, which I'm, I'm happy about. And I have these things in my in my portfolio. Uh, but I, I started to go, wow, maybe I should. The fact that you can only trade on Uniswap with Ethereum and a lot of these decentralized exchanges, you have to go and you can't go in with fiat. You have to do Ethereum. And uh, again, the same with Gate.io. You have to do Ethereum. I think you can do Bitcoin as well, but Ethereum is the norm that is used. I went, well, even if people are talking about the gas fees, this the Ethereum is not going away anytime soon. Even you have Cardano come along or something, Ethereum is still, it's going to be massive. So as I started to go through this experience, with thinking about Uniswap, thinking about Gate.io, and then a number of these other decentralized exchanges that, that are out there from Unimex to, uh, gosh, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, you leave in the comments some other exchanges that are all where you are powered, where you have to use Ethereum. So I thought, okay, I lost, I, I, I put into these, these trades and I took my $8,000 worth of Ethereum and I've put it into other things on Gate.io. I've gone into Gate token quite heavily. Again, that's something that I, I'll, I'm going to share what I feel with that in a video, another video, why I've gone into Gate and um, why I'm very, very bullish on it. And I think it's going to perform massively well. So, but anyway, with Ethereum, so that's now 38% of my portfolio. And I thought, what the hell, I'm going to go back into this. And so I just bought in here again the other day. I went, I, I went in at, I got in at the end at two, and on average in about 2051 uh, per Ethereum because I had a bit left. And, um, and so now, even with just having gone in the other day, I'm up almost 20% with gains of $4,168. And I think that that is, this is just the beginning because a lot of people were complaining about, uh, about the gas fees, but this is where we have the Ethereum Berlin fork went live today, right? That's April the 15th. And it is, it's one of Ethereum's improvement proposals meant to reduce gas costs. The next step is the London fork, which will take place in July, that will finally activate the highly anticipated EIP 1559. I don't know exactly what that means, <laughs> but what I hear here is it's going to reduce the Ethereum supply. So that means it's going to create scarcity for Ethereum that's coming up. But right now, reducing those gas fees, I think it's going to make it easier where you have a, a massive amount of a massive amount happening on Uniswap. Um, oh, where do I have it there? But you'll just see, if you go and look on CoinGecko, you're going to see, for example, let me just put in, um, I don't know, like Modify, because Modify is, um, that's a, you can only get that on Uniswap. 
And um, if we go all the way down here, you can see like it's just on Uniswap. Uniswap has a number of tokens that you can only get using Ethereum. Now, one of the things that did happen with this Berlin fork, you're going to see this news that just came out, which is Coinbase, Ledger and other crypto services impacted by client sync issue following Ethereum's Berlin hard fork. I'm not worried about this at all. People are like, oh my God, uh, people's money is being held, you know, held and frozen. This is going to be a problem. And then some people are going to panic sell and that's up to them. They can do that. But I am not letting go of, I am the proud owner of, like I said, of 10.197 Ethereum. And I am holding on to that because I just, I just think that with the scarcity of what's going to happen with Ethereum, that uh, with this London fork that is coming up, that is when the price is going to start to go really parabolic. So if you are just coming into the space now, into crypto, and you go, oh, is it too late to buy Ethereum? Or should you be buying Bitcoin instead? I just think that the gains to be made are bigger with Ethereum. It is growing faster than Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin is huge. You can't, I think, again, this is just my personal opinion. You can't go wrong with it. But I have opted. I sold my Bitcoin. And that's just my, my personal choice. I think Bitcoin's fantastic. I think it's going to be extremely valuable. But I was just thinking, at where could I make more gains? And what I just feel because Ethereum is the foundation of blockchain, that this is a no brainer. And I'm just not worried about this volatility. And I just can't imagine there's going to be a point, like I said, soon where it's not going to go below 80, it's not going to go below 18, 1900, even $2,000 again. And someone was just asking me recently about, um, they were saying about Coinbase and, and, you know, when, when is that going to be available to stake the Ethereum? It's not ready yet. You just, they're going to let you know when you, if you are on the wait list, they're going to send out an email and, and that Ethereum staking is going to be available in all US states except Hawaii and New York. And then of course, for example, if you go over to, if we just hop over here onto gate IO, I just want to show you on, let's see on news, if we go under giveaways on gate IO, does it have here for staking tasks, bonuses? I think that they have Ethereum. Where is it? They have all these things coming on here all the time, but they, they have Ethereum on here on Gate.io as well. And they have it on a number of other platforms where you can where you can go, you can go and, and stake on that. So uh, someone, um, last thing I'm going to leave you with, here with is that um, Chris Voa from Cointelegraph says $5,000 Ethereum by the end of May on-chain data suggests so. And I, I, do, I do think like just looking at what's happening now, that is very, very realistic with the momentum that is building following the, the Coinbase IPO, which of course we're going to have retracement. So people are naysayers like, oh, Coinbase is going down. It's retracing 50%. Oh, oh see, it's not going to work. Crypto's fading. I just totally disagree with that because you know, Tony Vase was just talking about every single IPO that goes out there normally goes through a 50% retracement. It is totally normal. And then it starts to come back again. And Coinbase is going to be here to stay and you know ethereum is a massive part of coinbase and so i do i don't think that these numbers on ethereum are unrealistic at, at all and i do think we are going to hit double digits by the end of the year so let me know what do you think what is your price prediction for ethereum are you bullish on it do you hold any of it are you staking it and uh, let's see where we're at. I'll do another Ethereum update soon. And thank you for being here with me on Crypto Angel Network. I appreciate you subscribing, for liking, and I will be replying to your comments within 48 hours. If someone, um, it, it says WhatsApp or investment advice, that's not me. That's a bot. That's a spammer. Please ignore that. All right. Thank you for being here with me. And I'm sending you lots of love.